Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome to my latest and greatest Audacity editing tutorial. What you're listening to right now is a sample or a preview of the effect that we're going for today, so hope you like it. And for this specific episode, I did make sure to include free presets that you can download from the description below, and I'd encourage you to hop on those as the intent was that it kind of get you past the preliminary technical stuff and, and to a point where you can just tweak stuff from my default settings and get closer to that sound that you're going for yourself. But besides that, that's what we're doing today. Make sure to grab your notepad and your cup of tea with the mug that matches your hoodie if you're an elite. And get ready to absorb some tips that are going to make your audio crispier, fuller, and overall more professional, of course, for free. Cool, cool. So we're in Audacity right now, and in front of us, we got our little audio clip to demonstrate these settings with. Uh, it was recorded on the Movo UM800, which is the mic I got right here in front of me. And uh, two things though. First, not sponsored at all, literally just our guinea pig to, to test out and demonstrate these settings with. And B, don't feel like you gotta have this mic or an expensive mic or anything like that. The point here is to make what you have sound better. Also, just like editing is important, so is getting good take. Try not to get wind noise by being too overly close or direct. Drink water because mouth sounds are not the move. And also very important, adjust your gain so your audio looks relatively close to mine. You're gonna want your waveforms to fill maybe 75% of the audio space, anything more and you'll risk peaking. Let's get things started by rolling my example audio as our baseline. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. The first thing we're gonna do is apply noise reduction. I get a lot of requests on how to remove fan noise or static or, or background noise and stuff like that, and while there's no perfect way to, to kill it completely like it was never there, this is the next best thing. So. First, you're gonna go ahead and select just a few seconds of just the noise, nothing else, and click effects, noise reduction, get noise profile, and close the plugin like so. So now I got that profile in Audacity, so it knows what to target, and we can select the actual speaking audio now, reopen noise reduction, and apply my settings. But keep in mind, this is for a mic with a decent noise floor, so I don't have too much background noise to begin with, but of course, if you need more reduction, what you can do is first try bumping that top setting, which is reduction in decibels. And if you need even more, try slowly bumping the sensitivity. And of course, as you do that, make sure to listen to the audio using the preview button and, and kind of just trial and error your way to what sounds the best. Anyway, here's our sample audio with noise reduction applied, headphones, of course, recommended. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here, just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. Next, we're gonna remove slash reduce breaths. We're gonna use a free third-party plugin for this called Prefix. Again, links and settings down below in the description. And the way this works is by acting as a noise gate. So when the volume drops below a certain point, the gate will close and cut that audio out. Don't be intimidated by all the controls either. As you can see here, we're actually only gonna use the gate section, nothing else. Uh, the settings here are simple too, and I won't explain those too, cause you might need to tweak them to fit your audio. The threshold, as you see here, is the volume level that the audio has to fall below for the gate to do anything. Uh, I got it a good spot for me where it ignores regular speech, but picks up the breaths. And moving on, the range is how much the gate cuts out the audio. I have it all the way down to completely remove the breaths, but you can adjust it as you see fit. And lastly, the knee is the intensity, so how soft or hard the reduction is gonna be. But of course, what we got here is my default settings and the settings that work the best for me. So let's go ahead and hear this plugin applied. And after I play this example, make sure to listen for my breaths in between words because that of course is what's gonna be different with the audio. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here, just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. Next is one of the most important parts, getting that sound signature that we're shooting for, which is crispy and 
and full and clear. And to accomplish this, we're going to use TDR Nova, a really powerful free equalizer. So for starters, I'd recommend downloading my presets and importing them just because this is probably the most complicated part of the tutorial. Uh, and just taking a look at the presets, as you can see on the screen, and kind of messing around with moving the placeholders and listening to the effect that makes. But the general idea of EQing is to get rid of the extreme low and extreme high frequencies, while of course crisping up the sound and adding body. I find my settings pull it off perfectly for me, but of course, I do recommend, as with anything else, tweaking to make sure it fits and works well with your audio. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the audio with my settings applied. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. Next, we're gonna jump into TDR Slick EQ, which if you're more advanced in the audio world, you're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing right now? We literally just use an equalizer in the last step. But while that's true, I do like to use TDR and Nova as kind of a baseline edit and then Slick EQ as a touch up, if that makes sense. For example, recording A roll, I'm typically quite a bit further away from the mic. And so you obviously get a bit of a different sound signature. And I just kind of use this to fine tune and keep my audio consistent. So anyway, uh, it's, it's really easy to use. It's incredibly simple. And as you can see on the screen, it's three knobs to adjust the levels of the lows, mids, and highs of the audio. And for this specific edit, we're gonna go with what you see on screen right now. And let's just play that example again. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful. And if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. Moving on, we're next gonna apply Spitfish, which is a simple little de plug plugin that's gonna help remove semblance from our audio. I remember in some previous videos, I didn't know there was a word for that, and I just say like this and sounds in the audio, but that's called semblance. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply my settings and let y'all listen to that effect. Again, it's not super crazy, but just kind of listen for those sounds and just hear how the plugin makes them less harsh. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. The last two things we're gonna do is amplify to peak and then compress, and what that's gonna do is kinda level out the volume, make sure everything's loud and where you want it volume-wise, but also consistent. So uh, based on my own research, I've also learned that I've compressed my audio super tight, really going back to like my very first Audacity editing tutorials. And I just, I, I come to the conclusion that I like that kind of radio-esque feel and it's what suits my style the best. So I'm just gonna keep sticking with that. But of course, if it's too intense for you, maybe you want a bit more room for your voice to breathe, I'll touch on that too. So first off, I'm still using the stock Audacity compressor. Even though I do use fancier ones for music, I just find the stock one easiest and best for speaking vocals. Uh, I first use Amplify at its default setting to bring the audio right up to zero decibels, and then jump into the compressor and apply these settings right here. Like I was saying, if you want to tone this effect down a bit, just drop the ratio. 8 to 1 is what I use, that's considered tight compression, and if you dropped it down to 5 to 1, that's cut around the medium range. 3 to 1 being light to moderate, and of course just listen, use that preview feature, and just figure out what sounds best to you. But as far as my process goes, this is it for my edits, we're done, and uh, this is how I like my audio sounding, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll the final finished product. Hey, Jason here, and this is our example audio for this tutorial. Hope you're finding it useful, and if so, feel free to drop a subscribe down below at any point in the video. I'm gonna take a breath here just for sake of the tutorial. Cool. All right, so that's the tutorial and we now got one audio file with noise reduction, subdued breaths, uh, a crisped up and fuller sound signature all leveled out with the compressor. And of course, 100% free, free software with free plugins. And of course, remember that the free presets that you can also download are right there down below, below that like button. Uh, and I'll also be kind of 
lurking around in the comments trying to help those of you out that run into issues as much as I possibly can. But besides that, this has been my updated Audacity editing tutorial. Hope you got some use out of it. Hope it helps you make your audio sound as good as it possibly can. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.